Good morning, YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to do a ROM review of Simply Honey 3.0 RC2. Uh, this is a brand new ROM uh, that just came out. Like this version was released uh, on April 6th. So uh, we're doing the test today on April 8th. Uh, I've been running it for uh, three or four days now. It's a really good ROM. I'm quite impressed with it. So I'm excited to do this review. Um, as you can see, it's got an awesome boot animation. Um, I really look forward to seeing cool boot anim anim animations. This one's one of my current favorites. Uh, so Simply Honey 3.0 RC2 is uh, a ROM from the developer Simone201. And it's based on JVK, which is the latest uh, Gingerbread 2.3.3 beta release from Samsung. So let's get started. Uh, you can see this is the default lock screen that it comes with. Um, this ROM is themed with a, a, a blue from the you know honeycomb uh, color scheme I suppose and it looks really really good. So uh, let's get into it. Let's go first into the settings. You can see what our main menu looks like. Uh, you can see the the blue features everywhere. So about phone, it's uh, Android 2.3.3. Uh, the and you can see the ROM name there, Simply Honey 3.0 RC2, uh, which is based on JVK. Okay, let's look at the launchers that it comes with. So I have a Launcher Pro, which uh, is my current favorite launcher. Um, so this is how I have it set up. As this, this is my my regular daily use phone. Um, it also comes it comes stock with. Let's take a look here. Um, so it comes stock with the the Gingerbread launcher as well as the Touch which Touch Wiz launcher. So let's take a look at that, so that you can get an idea of how it's themed. Let's go into the applications tray. Okay, since most of the theming elements are the same, even if I switch launchers, I'm going to go back to uh, Launcher Pro just because I'm more comfortable right now with how this phone's set up with Launcher Pro. So, where's our home switcher app? Okay, there we go. So let's go back to our desktop. Um, let's look at some of the, the icon theming that's done. Let's go into the app tray. And you can see uh, some, some of the icons are themed quite nicely. Look at the calculator icon there. Um, I really like there's a camcorder short, shortcut. So in one click, you can go right into the video camera mode. There's the camera icon. There's a clock icon that's right from Honeycomb. And you can see uh, some of the ic other icons have been themed as well. Okay, uh, let's look along the top there. And you can see the status bar is all black or transparent. So the icons, you can see there's the blue theming, you can see the battery icon, the the cell phone icon and the wireless, the Wi-Fi icon there. Let's look at the notification screen. See what the icons here look like. Let's look at the dialer. That's what the dialer looks like. Let's take get a phone call coming in so we can see uh, Okay, so that looks pretty normal. So that's not that's not theme. That's the the same as stock by the by the looks of it. Uh, let's look at some of the apps that come with this ROM. Uh, it comes with this um, awesome widget for weather uh, that I really like. Uh, works quite well. Looks quite good also. 
So I like that that has been included with the ROM. Let's take a look at some of the other apps. Uh, you can see it also comes with, uh, so there's the animated weather app. You can see uh, car home is there. There's this, which lets you um, set up what you want to do in CWM right from here. You can reboot into Clockwork, re Clockwork Mod Recovery right from there. There is EXT4, which I've already enabled. And this is to let you switch to uh, an EXT4 file system for better performance. There's um, some of these apps, of course, are my apps that I install afterwards. Um, here, Tweaks is the other app I want to show you. Uh, so here again, you have some choices. Uh, a lot of them I don't understand myself. So I have left everything as, as default. All these were set up like this by default. Um, there's a couple of things I could have added for performance, but I have not. One is this deadline sch scheduler is set to improve performance. And then there's this stage fright, which also may improve performance. But I haven't tried those two. Uh, the phone performs just great as it is. Um, you can see also the theming even when I open the XDA app you can see along the top how it looks uh, looks quite good I really like how how it looks on this phone okay let's also take a look at um, the market because that's also themed really nicely that's how the market looks Quite different from what the stock Google market looks like. Okay, so I think that gives you a good idea of how this ROM uh, looks and what it comes with. Let's uh, do some performance testing for what it's worth, which may not be much. Okay, so I'm going to start with Caffeine Mark. I'll let this run so we can see what we score. Okay, so Caffeine Mark scored 51.34. Let's move on to the RL benchmark. Okay, let's uh, let this run and see how, how many seconds it takes. Okay, RL benchmark has almost finished running. And it took 62.7 seconds, which is uh, quite a bit slower than um, uh, my test with CM7. Okay, let's do our series of quadrant tests. See what are the best quadrant score we can get on this ROM. Okay, so here's my first run. Okay, that finishes. That's our first quadrant run has just completed. And we got 1480. Second one. Second one just finished. 1745. Wow, big difference. And let's do one more. Okay, third one is about to finish. And uh, now what do we end up with? 1826. I think that's about the best I have seen with this ROM. Okay, let's see the power menu. As you can see, that's also themed quite nicely. I like how that looks. Lots of choices. And we can uh, reboot the phone. Okay, so overall, this is a great ROM. I'm really happy to recommend it. I've been using it for a couple of days. I still get about a crash a day, but that's a JVK issue I believe as soon as the it comes out of beta and an official gingerbread uh, is released from Samsung I think uh, this is going to be a really good ROM choice for your phone thank you for watching